Today we are going to study about preposition. Preposition. What is preposition and what is the correct pronunciation of this word? Whether it is preposition or it is preposition. Let's see. Preposition or preposition. I'm going to clear over here. When? P R E. There is a complete word with a complete meaning. We always pronounce it as pre. For example, preposition, not preposition. Because position is itself a complete, has complete meaning and complete sense. For example, so fix. Fix has its own meaning and its own sense. So we do not pronounce it as prefix. We pronounce it as prefix. Well, this is the only for your knowledge. Let's discuss about the proposition. That what is proposition? Well, proposition. We are going to study about proposition of place. It's a very large topic, and then you will, in this in this topic you will get the different senses. But we, I just want to clear some of your concept regarding the proposition and regarding the proposition of place. So guys, let's discuss about proposition of place, and in the first we are going to discuss about in. What is proposition of place? Proposition of place tells about the place, and in. What is in? Let's see. we use when something is enclosed in the boundary for example i am in the class i am in the class well guys i just want to clear it more i am in the class room I am in the classroom. Well, I am in the classroom, so you can see that there is a boundary of the classroom. So I always use in. For example, I live dash Hyderabad. Hyderabad has its own boundary. So what you can say that, or what you have to use, I am or I live in Hyderabad. I live in Pakistan. I live in Asia, and I live in this world. Whenever there is a boundary of anything, we always use the preposition in. The second example, or the second preposition we are going to study about is on. So, guys, on is, for example, when something is touching the surface in vertical or in horizontal way, in both the directions, but it must. Touch the space, not enclosed in the space. This thing, it is in my hand, but this is on the hand. Something which is just touching the surface. For example, I am standing on the floor, so my feet, my feet, just touching the floor. This board, we hang this board on the wall. So this is space, whether it's horizontal or vertical, we always use on. For example, the clock is on the wall. The table is on the floor. I am standing on. The board is on, and the marker is on the hat. Well, something is touching the surface. We use on. So that is third one. At when something. Or we are talking about the specific place. We use at. And one concept I want to give you. When we are talking about any abstract, the place which is not in the front. Or we can say that if we do not judge that we are in, we are on. Then we use at. For example, I knock. The door of your house, and I'm standing at the door. So what do you use over here? 
I am standing at the door, in the door, on the door. Well, you have to use at the door because there is no any boundary or there is no any specific place. For example, if you go to the reception area, you can say that I am standing on the reception, in the reception or at the reception. Obviously, you have to use at the reception because at the reception you are not in the reception or you are not on the reception. Second thing is that you have to use for the abstract thing with the places which are not at the front. For example, where do you live? I live at home. Home is an abstract place because the materialistic place is house. We do not use I am at house. We always use I am at home. Home is an abstract place. It does not have any physical thing. It is always connected with the feelings. Well, we use for the abstract places and and. So guys, in we are using when something is enclosed, on we are using when something is touching the surface, horizontal or vertical, and and we are using for any specific place. For example, I will meet you at school gate. I am not telling over here that in the school gate or outside the school gate or inside the school gate. I just say I will meet you at the school gate. Second thing, for example, if I say I will meet you at parking area. I am not saying I will meet you in the parking area, on the parking area, inside or outside the parking area. I just said I will meet you at the parking area. I will be standing over there. I will be standing anywhere. So guys, in this lecture, you will be able to learn the use of in on and at. You can practice it and you can find out more things in it. Thank you very much.